I think it was 86 or 87. I was out in front of the hospital doing something. She comes up and she says, well, I'm on my way to uh, New Orleans. And I go, oh, uh, yeah. And I said, well, I have a safe trip. And she goes, well, I'm going to find out if any of us have a job. And, oh. <laughs> and I'm like, well, she got my attention with yeah. that. Uh -huh. I go, well, what, well, what are you talking about? She goes, well, we can't stay here. This building's about to fall in, she <laughs> says. But so, uh, you know, we're either going to build a new one or we're going to close it down. And I'm going like, wow. Uh, would you get back to me when you come back and let me know? <laughs> so uh, she come back the next week and she told me, she says, it went our way. We're going to build a new one. Mm -hmm. And that started the search for an adequate site and, and they found this place. And well, she it, certainly had a vision. I mean, she was a visionary. Oh, yeah. I mean, she really was. And she knew how to get everything done. She knew lots of people. Oh, yeah, exactly. You know, lots of people respected her. I, I still have a, a love for that old facility, though, you know, to go back and pass it. I'm so proud of Too having worked so walk many. Up. Oh, no, those stairs were good for us. Um, but it was, I don't know, there was just something special about that old place. <laughs> and lots of memories and... and I know Jack we were said born too there. much work, too many floors. Yeah, <laughs> it was a lot of floors. Too many but old parts. Whenever we first moved in this facility, I remember when we had like an open house. The the paintings, the art, oh, the yeah. it was just I love beautiful. The when they yeah. had yeah. like a, a little open house. Well, it was a huge open house. Huge open and house. And yes, and remember ground. Breaking. Uh, Governor, Governor Bill Clinton, Clinton. Clinton. Mm -hmm. sister got everybody in as much as you know she knew everyone, and um, there were a lot of big players that uh, paved the road, helped her pave the road. They believed in her too. Oh, oh yes, uh -huh. yeah, and business leaders around here really in the yes, I did. Yeah. Governor Bill Clinton told me a funny story that day. He said, you know, on the way over here, he said uh, we were in a hurry because you know I don't have a lot of time and. And uh, and we ran ran up to the the site of the groundbreaking and all that, and Sister Werner was there, and he said he's asking Sister Werner, you know, Sister Werner, um, I, I really need to use the restroom. Is there any place around here? <laughs> of course, you know, nothing has started. I mean, there was no there was no construction trailer. There was nothing, and she goes, discipline's good for you. <laughs> <laughs> good she told him to hold it until it was over. <laughs> But I really think the move from the inside, as far as getting the patients on the on the right trucks, to to just think about it now, how those patients went from seven floors, seven yes. stories, down the elevator, out through the emergency room, put into one of those beds, which is really an army bed. They won't sort of cots, and to come down Central Avenue in a convoy. What an awesome thing to remember, uh, even think yeah. about, mm -hmm. that you've moved a whole facility just like this in one, was it one day or two? Yeah, well, we moved the non-critical patients in, in the first day, and then the next day, that's yeah. when all the ambulances yeah. and right the National Guard was That right there was a involved. blessing. And to, to still be able to remember it is, is something that we should be very proud of, because I was one of the last ones to lead an old facility and to hear them lock that door. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It was like yeah. part of me gone.